hey guys welcome back to another tutorial so in today's video i'm gonna show you five javascript projects that you can build as beginners and by creating these projects you can practice and improve your javascript skills that you learned so far you can also find the source code to these projects in the description so if you need it you can use them as a reference the first project that I want to show you is a PDF to text and the text to PDF converter. So by default, it is PDF to text, but uh, we can change it by clicking on this text to PDF button. Then I can drag a text file and show you how this app will work. So if I take this file and drag it here and uh, you see after I drop the text file, we got a download button, which will download the converted file. And in this case, it will be this text file.pdf. So if I download it, and then we can see the PDF file. And absolutely, we can do the same for the PDF to the text. The next project that I want to show you is a weather app where we can search for a city name and get the current weather of that city. So for example, I can also type Berlin and you see that we got the current weather of the Berlin. So to creating an app like this can be a great practice for those who just want to start working with APIs because in this project we are getting information like temperature, wind speed and even this uh, icon from an API. So to creating an uh, app like this it can be very helpful uh, to learn uh, working with APIs. The third project that I want to show you is a PDF viewer and I think it's a very cool project even if it is uh, simple to create and in this app you are able to open a PDF file and we can read it, we can move to different pages, we can zoom in and uh, zoom out. So uh, these are all functionalities this app has right now but uh, you can always try to add more functionality and make it even cooler. The next project is a simple text editor. So for that, I'm going to copy some text and paste it here. So here in this app, we can uh, make the text bold. We can make it italic, add an underline, and even change the font size. We can also change the alignment. So these are the things that we can do in this app. But uh, I want to add that uh, this app can't be used as a text editor because uh, there are many bugs in this uh, app so but it doesn't matter because uh, what we want is to practice uh, the javascript skills and for that it can it, this project can be a great one because in this uh, app you will uh, practice the basic javascript uh, syntax and even dom manipulation so therefore it can be very helpful the last project that I want to show you is a shopping cart. So here in this page, you see that we are able to add these products to this shopping cart and we are also able to increase and decrease the count of each product. So, and of course we are able to remove some products if we want. And one more thing is that when I reload this page, those products are still in the cart and this is possible by using some technique that is called local storage. So this was the last project that I want to show you and that means uh, this is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, if you did make sure you like the video and subscribe to channel. So see you in another video.